Good evening. I'd like to take and call the Monday, February 5th, 2024 Berlin Select Board to order. To my left is Flo Smith. To my far left is um, Joe Staub. To my right is Tor Nelson, who was also our town administrator, and uh, Carla Nuizel. Um, any additions or changes to the agenda tour? Uh, no. Any public comment? Hearing none, I'll to entertain a motion to close, to recess the select board and open up the public hearing for the charter change. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, as you should know, the Berlin Select Board is asking for a charter change to allow us to, hope, uh, to impose a local options tax. Um, the charter will be amended as follows in Section 3-2, Powers of the Town, addition of Paragraph D as follows. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% sales tax. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% rooms tax. And the Town of Berlin Select Board may access, assess a 1% meals and alcohol beverage tax. The tax imposed under the authority of this section shall be collected and administered, administrated by the Department of Taxes in accordance with 24 VSA 138. The revenues received through this imposition of a tax imposed under this section shall be designed for capital projects within the town. Any comments? Don't even think I hear the crickets chirping. <laughs> Well, I would just like to say uh, as a comment is that the this 1% uh, local options tax would allow us to take and uh, do road and equipment purchases, road projects and equipment purchases. It will also take and uh, uh, help control the, the budget as far as um, capital expenditures go. Uh, anything else, Flo? I concur with what Brad said. I think it's really necessary, and we've come so close to it being approved that I'm in, in high hopes that it will be approved this time because it will be beneficial for the budget, like Brad said, and really assist us with the capital projects. Joe? Um, I, I do believe there was a report for 78% plus would be paid for by um, downtown residents so I see that as being a, a benefit um, they're using using the roadways and such and the infrastructure of which they don't typically pay taxes on so good point very Carl good point Carla I can't think of anything else to add just that I I mean I'm certainly in favor and I do hope that residents will support it door yeah, it's been uh, said before, you know, Berlin's resident population is about 2,900, uh, but that swells to over 12,000 during the day with the uh, shoppers and workers that come to town. Uh, Berlin hosts regional health, retail, and, and institutional organizations, um, all of which, you know, use our infrastructure, our roads and bridges and a police force and everything like that, um, but they do not contribute to the maintenance of uh, <coughs> this infrastructure, and that falls entirely on the Berlin property owners. Uh, this options tax, if enacted, would, would allow um, us to continue and even expand our investment into our, our capital infrastructure, our, our bridges, roads, and culverts. Uh, while not increasing the tax load on the residents, but uh, spreading out over all the users um, through the through the options tax. Uh, as the chair stated when he read the text of the uh, charter change, uh, you know, 
these funds would uh, be used towards capital improvements, uh, you know, greater road repair and maintenance, uh, bridge repairs, which have been lacking in the past, the Lover's Lane Bridge, which, you know, for instance, which has been closed for several years. Uh, we had the Fisher Road culvert, uh, which was closed for a significant period of time a couple years ago for, for repairs. And we're facing significant expenditures this year with the um, repairs still needed from the July flooding. Uh, all of this would go towards that uh, and more. Uh, without um, burdening the already heavily burdened Berlin taxpayers. Uh, another thing to keep in mind that all the expenditures of these projects would still be approved by the voters at the annual town meeting um, budget. So it's not like they're just giving us a blank check to, uh, to spend all this, this money on in, in the future. And... Um, you know, rough estimates, you know, are between, you know, around $640,000 a year that uh, this tax would uh, generate for the town, which is about 150% of our, of our usual capital budget. So it would be, you know, nice increase there. And like Joe said, it's estimated between 74 and 87% of this tax would be paid for by non-residents. Um, Things that are not subject to this tax would be groceries, uh, clothes and shoes, uh, drugs and medical supplies, uh, motor vehicles, fuels, gasoline, diesel, and residential and farm utilities. Uh, so there's a lot of items there that uh, everybody buys every day that would not be subject to this to this taxes. So I. Here again, also, I am in favor of adoption of this local options tax. And, and just keep in mind, you know, the, the overall um, scope of this. Uh, you, know, I went, uh, you know, I went out to uh, one of the fast food places the other day, and, you know, burgers, five, fries, and a drink was 10 bucks. Uh, so a family of four, that's 40 bucks. Uh, the you know the one percent would be an additional forty cents on on that meal, um, and if you do that once a week, every week for a year, you're talking about twenty one dollars total for the uh, for the year. Um, you know, and keep in mind if you go to the grocery store and you buy you know some chicken and potatoes and lettuce and and bread for dinner, you pay nothing extra on that for for the sales tax. Anyone else? Any comments? I wanted to also add, I think it's wonderful that it will be administered by the, um, the state as opposed to our staff here. I think that that's a huge benefit too. I think, I think it might be worth noting too that people may not realize they already pay this 1% tax when they go out of town to Montpelier or to Barrie or to other surrounding towns and they may not even notice the Boston. difference. Yeah. Yeah. So while if, if we are able to pass the local op options test here, um, the impact to the individual is going to be so minuscule that you, you might not notice. But the benefit to our town with all the visitors coming in is, is going to make a big difference. And, and it would improve the experience for the outer town residents as well. It's yes. about having better roads, having the pink mm -hmm. turnpike north open, and, and, exactly. and things like that. So it's, you know, benefits everybody, not just the Berlin residents. And like you mentioned, Lover's Lane, it's been closed for quite some time. People mm -hmm. have been concerned. This would really, truly help in that regard, and other entities as well. Good point, Rachel. Well, the... One other thing is, is that it will not burden the town businesses. The the money just passes through. It doesn't take and it doesn't come out of their operating costs. Right. Okay. And and like Flo mentioned, with it being administered by the tax department, they just report it like to do their regular quarterly sales. It's not an additional paperwork burden on them either. Exactly. Any other comments? If not, entertain a motion to. Close the uh, special of uh, the um, public hearing and 
reconvene the select board. I make the motion to close the public hearing and reconvene the select board this evening. Second. Any comment? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Appointment of Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District representative and alternate. We have some <coughs> changes here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, Matt Levin, who is our long term, long time uh, representative on the board, is stepping aside, and Tim Shea uh, has volunteered to step up to be a representative on the on the, uh, on the board. Uh, Matt is interested in serving as the alternate uh, to Tim, so I would make the motion that Tim Shea be appointed as Berlin's representative to the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District Board, and that Matt Levin be appointed as the alternate. I second that motion. Any other comments? Question. Who's our alternate, current alternate? I'm not sure we even have one. I don't believe we do have one. Any other comments on this? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. I would like to say, you know, express an extreme amount of uh, gratitude towards Matt. Um, I, I don't know how long he's been doing this, about at least 10 years that I know of, um, and maybe even longer. I think he was on it when I came on the board, and that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, so okay, so, uh, so even double what I was expecting. So we do, oh, a great, huge uh, uh, gratitude towards him for his service. He has a lot of knowledge and enthusiasm, and he's done a really great job. Yes. Okay, uh, approval of permits, applications, licenses, and warrants. I'm going to approve payable warrant 24G18 with check number 23692 to 23702 in the amount of $29,934.03. I'll second that. Any discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion carries. Approval of minutes of? There is one set from January 25th. I make the motion to approve the Thursday, January 25th, 2024 minutes and just one change in the first paragraph under FY2, just including the letter C before the word can. Other than that, find me. You missed one other one. I did? Yeah. Oh. FY2 budget. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That too. Okay. Um, All those in favor? Uh, uh, Looking for a second with with that. It's Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, any other discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And round table, Joe. Oh. I'll pass for now. Hello? Same for me. Door. Uh, I included a, in your printouts a letter I received from Town of Barry uh, just this afternoon, uh, acknowledging the one-year uh, contract extension for the EMS. Uh, but they are also looking for a nine dollar and thirty-nine cent increase above the pre-programmed increase in the per capita rate uh, due to the increases in insurance and uh, rental of the Berlin Fire Station. And they are offering to come and meet with us uh, if we would like to take them up on that at a future meeting. Any thoughts on that? I'm not opposed to them coming to a future meeting and yeah. having a discussion with us. That's just my my thoughts. So, 
How many people live in Berlin? Well, per capita is around 1,900, I think. That we get charged okay. for. 1,900 people. The rest are covered by the uh, Northfield ambulance. Yeah, I don't know what that division is. So that's what a twenty thousand dollar increase. Twenty thousand dollar increase, which was not that's high. I mean, like rounding. Right. Yeah. Right. But that's not budgeted in our no budget. We yeah, let's have come in and chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will invite them into a meeting. Okay. That's all I had. So just a question. So the contract doesn't. The contract doesn't specify the rates. They have, they have, uh, they can increase them. The contract does provide for the rates, but also provides for a provision that if certain expenses okay. exceed amount, uh, they can increase it, which yeah. they're exercising. Yes, yeah. oh, I get it. I just was curious. Mm -hmm. So basically, <laughs> this is just an increase to cover their cost of inflation, for lack yeah. of a better word, what they're, exactly. what they're, what they're claiming. Well, we certainly know mm -hmm. insurance rates have gone up. We saw that in our budget. Right, right. <laughs> True. Anything else, Carla? Nope, I'm good. Did I do good? Yeah. Quicker, um, quicker than any of your meetings? Yeah. Uh, so the local options tax social media post recordings by select board members? Um, this was intended to be a uh, recording of you making snippets, of, you know, sound bites about the options tax that we could use on our own social media pages. I think that kind of fell apart this afternoon. So. <laughs> well, so the big debate is how to get across some of the little messages that we have that may give people a better understanding of why we want to pass this. And so while we could do little video snippets of here of you guys just saying why you support it um, and the benefits, there was an idea bounced around this afternoon about doing those videos in certain locations um, that may have a bigger impact, like maybe in front of the town garage, down near um, the closed road on Bean Turnpike. Um, Tom asked me to with, do that one. Maybe with the, the police chief and um, some of his guys. So I don't know if you guys were prepared to do any kind of video today. If you have a strong desire to do it, we can certainly record that now. Um, and But if you prefer the idea of being somewhere else, I mean, I know I'd be happy to go during the daytime if you have time to record a video with some town scenery as well. <laughs> I'm happy to do it in front of the paint turn quite close sign. Okay. Is that something that you're comfortable doing on your own? You can certainly record it with your phone and send it to us or we could come out and record it with our phone. Um, we also can set up a laptop or you can set up a laptop and record a video as well. I can just do it on my phone, right? Okay. Yeah. If yeah. that works for you and you're you're comfortable with that, that's I think I can easier. do it. If I need your help, I'll call you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and as far as, you know, do you want to just wing it or, you know, say what I want to say? And just show it? wing it. <laughs> <laughs> Speak from the heart. <laughs> so what are you looking at? 40 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds? Something real quick. Something it has to be it, quick. Yeah, it can be whatever you want. And that's, yeah. you know, the benefit of this, you know, we're not trying to do a... 30 second spot or six, you could be whatever you want. So yeah. if it's 17 seconds, that still works. Right. Or, you know, and I like be, the idea a, of the location. It can be an odd number, so. Yep. Locations, yes. I think, are, are, are yes. key. You know. Right at the fire department. And the other beauty is sure. that <laughs> Rachel can edit it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's a great idea. Do you have a time frame when they have to be done by? Um, I would say the sooner the better, because we really only have 
a few more weeks to, to yeah. get that message out and create some kind of discussion. So. I was thinking this Friday for me. That would be great. That works. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I think that's great. And location, I'm I'm up for suggestions. Okay. Just like you did with. I think Lovers Link Bridge was right. I was just going to say that. Sure. Sure. Well, sure. If that's, that works That for makes you. total sense. Yeah. And I'm not opposed to Lovers Lane. Lover Lane. Lovers Lane Bridge. With the exception, and there, there's some hold up on the state side. It's not, it is, a, it's right. going to be a financial burden. Okay, I get that. But it's it's not a matter of having the dollars to do it. Is that not? You don't want the message that what, if we pass this. Yeah, so you're going to have a Lover's Lane so Bridge. Good. We're still waiting on the state. Right. Right? Right. So, great idea. I, I think wrong message. Uh, well, I think the same would go with the fire station as well, because as of right now, the fire department will not benefit from this. Right. right. Maybe in the future it will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's spread standing in front of the town garage. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> local options uh, tax, anything more on this? The media fire? If not, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. And I will make that motion to adjourn tonight's regularly scheduled select board meeting. I will second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's amazing. We adjourned.